Welcome to the Holy Yogi, where we help you find the guru inside of you. Hey, beautiful, hey, handsome, it's Ilan Bomani. And if someone has not told you today that they love you, mwah, let me be the first and now some cyber hugs to each and every single one of you. Hey, we're having a great day today, as always, every day. Today, we're going to talk about miracles. Yes, that's right, miracles. You know, there's a saying that goes like this. It's better to be prepared for a miracle and have one than have a miracle and not be prepared. is ladies and gentlemen you are the miracle yep you heard it from me you are the miracle and that's what you need to realize the work is not going to get done outside of you it's going to come from within inside of you we're always looking for those miracles outside of ourselves you know we're praying for a miracle from God the universe etc you were created in the likeness of image of God tap into the God with inside of you to self-actualize your miracle so how does that work Elon well I'll give you some examples when I was going through my homeless stint and in a nutshell I went from being a homeless mom, yeah, my baby was in my arms at the time, approximately, I think, River at the time was maybe six months old. Yep, you heard it right. And in addition to that, guess what? Um, what's really important, and that is the fact that we went from being a homeless mom with just $36 in my checking account, and in 18 months, I became a miracle. Can you say that miracles are in the making? Also, another key factor is, is that a miracle. I have shared with everybody that I have had cancer and lupus, and guess what I did? I healed myself of that disease because I knew how powerful that I was. And the birthing of my son, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? My husband and I, because it's not a medical emergency, remember that, had what is called an unassisted childbirth meaning there was no midwife there was no doctors okay no lawyers no indian chiefs <laughs> in on the making because i really truly understood that how powerful the same room where we conceived the child was the same room that we birthed our first son together both of our boys we did completely natural i call it rites of passage birth at home yes ladies and gentlemen see these are miracle making things so i put my money where my mouth is i really do understand that we are endowed with everything that we need in order to make miracles happen so i say this to you which is really important most recently everybody is um you know um challenged with these hurricanes that have been in existence in sienna plantation i just not got an email from no no an fb post in regards to one of my ex neighbors sharing with me that the house that i lived in in sienna plantation from harvey was flooded and keep in mind ladies and gentlemen at the time they told us that no it, it was not like a flood zone area texas not a flood zone area number one because we were high up we were not at sea level we were about maybe about i'm gonna say 30 40 minutes from houston texas area and flood insurance was an option are you kidding me i definitely when i reside there i got flood insurance but more importantly when i experienced hurricane rita and then it was another hurricane that came to town let me tell you about the second hurricane that happened which was really powerful when the before that hurricane happened you know i don't know maybe i was a little naive to a certain extent but i really felt protected i really felt that nothing was going to happen and in that same house this go round, what had happened was i put out all my prayers i put light and love and rainbows around that house you know, asking the universe, the God with inside of me, the energy vibrational frequency to protect this house. And it was like a glass menagerie. I mean, I'm talking about a lot of windows in this particular home. It's 4,800 square foot home. And in a nutshell,
Sha, I remember when that storm happened and boy, that wind was blowing. It looked like it was gonna crash it. Lucky I had shutters, you know, there to protect us, etc. Me and my boys, we huddled together and we did our mantras, you know, like our Native American, you know, tribe does. You know, everybody laughs at it and ponders it when they do the rain dance, you know, basically saying when they needed rain or if they didn't want rain. I knew we could control the vibrational frequency of that storm. To make a long story short, the next day, wanting a miracle praying for a miracle, meditating on a miracle, making a miracle happen, or putting all that, they call it mantras out there, all that energy. Remember, remember, your words create your world. What you say can manifest into ex existence. So, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it will achieve, ladies and gentlemen. So in a nutshell, I sat there and I, you know, prayed, meditated, we fell asleep, woke up the next day. I look out my window, I think I saw very little, little happenstance around me. I was like, oh, we missed it. You know, I really thought, you know, I was a little bit uh, tripping because I really honestly thought that it had missed us because I didn't see very much damage at all, though it felt like tons and tons of damage. And what was so ironic, when I went outside of my home, ladies and gentlemen, and I walked down about a mile. It looked like a war zone. Trees and were down and houses and shutters and I mean up trees uprooted from the ground. I mean it was amazing. One one house a tree toppled over into a crack into another home. Um, you know, and I was amazed. My house literally had no issues and we did not have any flooding in Sienna Plantation at all because quite frankly I wasn't having it. <laughs> I've got children to protect on my own but I share this with you ladies and gentlemen because I really want you to understand how powerful you are. So many people right now, I'm right now up here at Kroger's and everybody's in the food store you know prepping for and focusing on food and eating and shelter and protection and I'm like, no, we're not going there. We are going to circumvent this. We are, don't get me, don't, don't get me wrong. Take precautionary procedures. Go uphill, you know, do whatever you need to do. I've done my due diligence to know we don't have, need to evacuate. The people from the coast here in Georgia have evacuated, which is a smart thing to do. And if I was on the coast, I would definitely do that. God help those who help themselves. And God is always speaking to us. And I said all that to say, that the universe had told me after that last storm, leave. Leave Siena Plantation. Leave Texas. Go to Georgia. And in High Plain area, the first thing I checked to make sure that it was in an area that was not known for floods or needing flood insurance, though we've got it anyway. <laughs> Just for safety's sake, you gotta keep it real in order to protect myself and my family. Now, I can't say the universe was saying that Harvey was coming, whatever the case may be, but I do know that the feeling and station that came through me basically said that you don't need to be in another hurricane and that you need to totally relocate and leave the state that you are in. And that's what I'm talking about, those miracles. You know, it will let you know well in advance. This didn't happen until five years later but the key thing about it is, it did happen, okay? So I am making, sending prayers and light out and love to a lot of people, but I really want people to fully understand the importance that if you're in an area that is known for flooding, that is known for hurricanes, et cetera, you've gotta really make a tough love decision. I knew that I was a single mom, raised these two boys by myself. I didn't wanna be alone to handle those type of catastrophic experiences that other people would um, maybe be able to handle better than myself. So I went to higher ground and safe ground permanently. <laughs> and I suggest you consider doing those type of things. So remember, miracles are available to us each and every day. If you're in the business of making miracles, you can heal yourself of cancer or AIDS, of high blood pressure if you choose to do so. You can bring life into the world if you choose to do so. You can create millions of dollars and become a millionaire if you choose to do so. Because you are in, ladies and gentlemen, the miracle making business. Like I said to you, you are a miracle. Guess what? Giving life is a miracle, bringing it into the world. 
So with that in mind, I want you to realize that miracle essence inside of you and enjoy a phenomenal life. And I will see the guru inside of you real soon. Woo! Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye now.